What if you woke up tomorrow morning to learn that your brand had been featured as product placement in a wildly popular television show? Good news, right? Free PR. You didn't even ask for it. Now, what if you learned that that product placement was used in the plot line of a story that killed off a beloved main character of that show? Less fun, right? And what if you realize that your customers, they love this show. They never, ever miss an episode. And they were so compelled by this story, and they were so devastated at the fact that their favorite character got killed off by your brand, that while you slept, there's been this social media storm of your customers and the general public voicing their grievance, their distress, their anger against your brand, so much so that when you wake up, the story is trending, it's gone viral, and your customers are so upset against your brand for a fictional show, a fictional plot line, killing off a fictional character, that they've collectively decided to boycott your brand indefinitely. And you wake up and you realize that because it's trending and because it's gone national, the news media has picked it up, and your inbox and your voicemail is flooded with inquiries that are waiting for you to respond to because the media wants to know if you knew that you were gonna be responsible for this fake character dying. And then you realize that your employees love this show too. And while they may not have this irrational sentiment towards the fact that the brand killed off this character, they still were emotionally compelled by the story that they love and they're still devastated at the fact that their favorite character died off. And they hate the fact that their brand was a part of it. And they're very aware of what's happening on social and the impact that this is having. The impact that this threatens to have on your reputation as a result of a fictional television show. By a show of hands, who feels confident that if this was actually your reality tomorrow morning, that your entire team would know precisely exactly what to do to get ahead of that story, to regain control of that narrative, and to not lose those customers. Show of hands. I see no hands. By a round of applause now, I would like to know who feels as though walking into the, that office, your office, that morning, you'd be chasing your tail a little bit. This is a wildly crazy scenario, right? And yet this is the reality that Crock-Pot woke up to just a few weeks ago when This Is Us used a generic slow cooker, not a Crock-Pot machine, as part of the plot line that killed off one of their most beloved characters. We live in complex times, don't we? I want you to picture that in the breaking moments of that precise scenario, that you have confidence in knowing that your entire team knows precisely how to detect it in real time, how to assess its impact on the brand, and they know how to work together in real time to not just successfully manage the crisis, but to actually come out of the crisis with even more stakeholder goodwill and credibility and trust than you perhaps had going in. That level of instinctive crisis management is what's required today if you're gonna get ahead of all of that noise. Position your brand as the voice of trust, credibility, and leadership in a crisis. That level of instinctive crisis management is what it is, it means to be crisis ready. And when you're crisis ready, and you can have confidence knowing that your entire team will be able to detect a negative incident and respond in a way that increases brand credibility and trust, then you have an invincible brand.